Welcome to Club Academia. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Why does time slow down on the International Space Station ISS? We'll break it down from first principles and quantify the exact time difference between a person on Earth and a person on the ISS. Time is fundamentally a measure of change and progression. We use it to quantify how events unfold. Imagine a clock ticking. It's a way to measure the passage of time as events occur. Time and space. Time isn't just a backdrop against which events happen. It's part of a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time, which combines the three dimensions of space with time. First, let's understand the basics of time dilation, a concept that emerges from Einstein's theory of relativity. At its core, time dilation means that time does not pass at the same rate everywhere. It changes based on how fast you're moving and how strong the gravitational field is where you are. Now, you might be wondering, the ISS is much less massive than Earth, so how does this relate to time dilation? Here's where special relativity comes into play. Einstein's special theory of relativity tells us that time slows down for objects that are moving at high speeds relative to a stationary observer. The ISS orbits Earth at a high velocity, approximately 28,000 kilometers per hour. So, while the ISS is in a weaker gravitational field than the surface of the Earth, it's moving very fast. Both effects, gravitational time dilation and velocity-based time dilation, combine to determine the rate at which time passes for astronauts on the ISS. Also, since schools and colleges aren't exactly teaching us how to build wealth, we have teamed up with Wealth Talk to bring you the knowledge you need to succeed. Get ready for a financial education like never before. Learn about stocks, investing, money management, and so much more. Our goal is to empower you to take control of your financial future. Subscribe to the channel, Wealth Talk, for expert advice, tips, and strategies. Your journey to wealth starts now. And financial literacy is just as important, if not even more important than academic literacy, which is why we want to give you the tools to start thinking about this as early as possible. Let's get back to the topic of time dilation. Let's quantify the time difference. We'll use some basic principles and equations to calculate how much slower time passes on the ISS compared to Earth. We're going to use the relativistic time dilation formula from special relativity. Mathematical expression, time dilation in special relativity is given by the formula, orbital speed and time dilation. The ISS orbits Earth at an average speed of about 28,000 kilometers per hour, 17,500 miles per hour. At this high speed, Special relativity predicts a small but measurable time dilation effect. To put this into perspective, astronauts aboard the ISS experience time slightly slower than people on Earth. Over a year, this time difference accumulates. For example, in a year of time for an astronaut on the ISS, roughly 0.01 seconds to 0.02 seconds would have passed more on Earth. This small difference might not be noticeable in daily life, but it's a significant confirmation of relativity principles. So, the combined effects of both velocity and gravity contribute to the time dilation experienced on the ISS. To summarize, time slows down on the ISS compared to Earth because of its high orbital speed and to a lesser extent, the weaker gravitational field. Both special and general relativity play a role in this fascinating phenomenon. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the concept of time dilation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Club Academia for more intriguing explorations of the universe. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Also, check out Wealth Talk, our financial literacy education partner, which shares the tools and tips for smart financial planning. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and stay curious.